Hey, hello everyone and a very happy new year to everyone. We have entered into 2025 and with that said, I will definitely try to help you best. In this video, I am going to share you all a happy news that I have got selected in Cisco as a senior site reliability engineer. And if anyone thinks that I am telling lie, check out my goodies. Okay, so I have the goodies with me and all the different types of other goodies which I have received from Cisco, I'll be revealing that in the next coming videos. Like target for this video is 200 plus likes. If you want me to continue my job hunt and share with you all the interview questions like I was sharing for all the top product based companies. So definitely make sure you comment on the video and make sure that you share the channel link and help me to grow as well as you also grow in this year of 2025. So let's get started with Cisco interview experience. So guys, uh, I have applied to Cisco a few months back and uh, in this complete interview experience, I am going to tell you few of the important things that you as a DevOps engineer should know. Right. So first of all, let me tell you in 2024, I have all also told you all that Python is very much important. So the Cisco interview experience started like this. The first time I applied to Cisco uh, job portal. So all the links I'll share in the description, you can check out that. So after applying to the Cisco job portal, almost four to five applications of senior site reliability engineer, senior DevOps engineer and platform engineer I have applied and out of which I have taken two referrals from my close friends. So what I'm going to tell you is almost everyone should always try for getting the referrals because many people hunt for the job for same positions and the chances after you getting referred by your friend working in the same company gets 80 to 90 percent of your chances to get into the interview. So in the same way, I got my interview call for senior site reliability engineer. And for this position, I had total of five rounds of interview. Starting with the first round, the HR called me. So HR took my basic details, uh, what kind of role I was working in, uh, what experience I hold, what kind of projects I have worked. And also Cisco was always one of the dream company to join with because of its market capitalization or its products, or you can say like the big campuses it has. And I will definitely share one more video. What are the benefits that Cisco is going to offer? So if you are looking for any kind of such thing, do comment down in the below, below section. I'll definitely help you. So while HR was asking what I have noticed is one of the important aspect he asked me is do you know the Python coding or not? So obviously I have to tell yes if I don't tell uh, if I don't tell yes there, there are chances that HR will cut the call. So I said yes and probably I was knowing the medium level of lead code or uh, Python related questions or hacker rank Python related questions. So I said yes to him obviously. So he assessed me based on the tools that I have worked and he always asked me like Praveen, what kind of projects that you have worked on based on coding. So I assume that that particular role was mostly on to the coding, uh, coding journey related things. So I said, okay, what are the projects I have worked? And also I told about CICD pipelines, Kubernetes and all those things. So that's how my first round of the screening got in and immediately I, um, uh, I told all the things to him. He scheduled the first round of interview with an on-site team. Now here the primary note to everyone, the all the rounds of my interview was taken by on-site team who were primarily Indians. Okay, one or two rounds was uh, with a technical lead and the, and the other team member who was from US, but rest all uh, two to three rounds was done from the uh, Indians who were staying in the USA. So I was primarily, uh, primarily uh, getting uh, uh, the interview for App Dynamics product of Cisco. So App Dynamics, as you all know, it's a uh, it's a reliability product, it's a observability product, it's a monitoring product, and uh, it's used by many good companies out there. So let's get started. So what are the questions that I have been asked in the first round? So the first round uh, was scheduled right after the next week of the HR getting screened me in. So first round was pure coding round. So the questions was as was you have an S3 bucket where the file is placed and you have to download that file in a container. How will you do? So these are some kind of real time experience when you tell them that you have the knowledge of AWS and Azure, you have the knowledge of let's say like GCP and Azure and AWS. So whenever you tell about the cloud, how are you going to tackle this situation? So I told him that uh, the process of uh, putting the file, downloading the pi file, writing the Python code, uh, using the Boto3 to talk with the AWS and what are the different kinds of aspects uh, to create the container 
and making sure that that file is downloaded uh, from the S3 bucket and placed in the container, right? So there are many aspects and uh, a loop of questions were asked to me in the first uh, first of the question itself. Uh, he made me comfortable, but still uh, after 10 to 15 minutes, it happens with everyone. The interview gets uh, a little bit uh, fiery uh, to go ahead, right? So the second question was, can you create a Terraform code for having the EC2 instance with EMR setup? So as I have told you, uh, App Dynamics is a big data platform. So lakhs and lakhs and millions of millions of, of data from the customers are taken and stored. So basically they were using the uh, big data clusters. Uh, I hope that EMR Elastic Map Reduce. So that's why he has asked me that question also. So I said uh, probably I have not worked on big data, but I can definitely tell you how this uh, structure of uh, Terraform is going to happen. So I explained him all the code, all the details. Uh, with respect to my knowledge of MySQL database, I asked him a permission. Can I go ahead with MySQL database creation of Terraform and EC2 instance setup, VPC setup? He said me yes, and I, I uh, went ahead with that. So here a point to note, if you don't know anything also, always make sure that, okay, let me try another option. If he says yes, go ahead with that. If he says no, then it's up to him to decide what chance he is going to give you. Uh, write a Docker file to have an HTTPD container and, and uh, you need to have the file to be copied from the local to the container and whenever you hit a refresh of the URL of the container, the page should re a refresh. So here also is ex expecting us to write a Docker file. Uh, in this Docker file, you need to mention all the steps. You need to have your Apache HTTPD uh, as a container. You need to have a file copied from your local to the uh, to the container. And you need to make sure that that uh, uh, application is running on a port. And whenever you are trying to refresh uh, the uh, URL of that uh, particular container, uh, right, of that application, right, with port, uh, you need to make sure that the page also get refreshed. So almost if you are able to see all of them are hands-on questions if you are telling him the theory uh, that is also not uh, going to help you you need to do the hands-on at least 70 to 80 percent so that he or she is happy with the interview so next if you see write a python script using boto3 to list all the s3 buckets in an aws account and their respective size uh, and their respective sizes so here one important thing to know, whenever you are telling AWS, always make sure you are knowing the Python Boto3 skills. This will help you to land your dream job. If you don't know Python Boto3, check out, uh, just you hit uh, Python Boto3 EC2 instance setup or Python Boto3 S3 setup. It will definitely give you some code snippets. You can remember that and you can at least try to uh, go ahead with 10 to 20% of the things uh, so that uh, you are telling them uh, in a very reliable manner, right? Uh, so these were the first round of coding questions. Coding means coding was there python was there scenario based was there hands-on was there and uh, um, after three four days after the multiple follow-ups i was little fear that uh, whether the chance or the opportunity will go away from my hand or not but i was uh, very much uh, happy that i got selected in the first round so i was moved to the second uh, round of technical interview it was purely on the sari uh, site reliability engineering space so i can understand that the role was demanding some kind of uh, sri related activities also so uh, the interviewer uh, gave me various kinds of elements and asked me to implement the best SRE and observability practice. So here, uh, our architecture diagram was given to me. So there were MySQL databases, load balancers, S3 buckets, uh, your WAF, fiber access firewalls, uh, your DNS. Uh, and different kinds of elements were there in the system. So uh, he asked me primarily how the SRE and the observability uh, things you will get out of this diagram. So I have to pinpoint where, what is SLA, what is SLI, what is SLO at each and every step of the design diagram. And I have to help him out implementing the SRE strategies for him. So you can understand how the difficulty level people have made. And if you don't know what is SLI, SLA, SLO, you are struck. You cannot give him the answer. So then only he will come to know that, okay, this guy is telling lie. This guy is not having confidence of, uh, of uh, giving the actual reasons, right? So with that, uh, uh, he or she might think that, okay, this guy is not suited for the interview. Let him uh, remove from the uh, interview screening things itself. So that will be a major challenge for you. So whenever you are applying, check out the JD. If anything related to SRE is there, make sure that you are going over the SLA, SLI, SLO and some design diagram, system design diagrams also what is expected by an DevOps and SRE engineer at what point of time you should know. Okay, so with this one scenario of system design SRE uh, round, 
he assessed me on major aspects like okay if database is having 1 million transactions how will you provide uh, the database the reliability scalability and availability if let's say a user is coming the website is down how are you going to troubleshoot uh, what are the monitoring tools you are going to use uh, what are the queries you will write to make sure your prometheus and grafana setup is intact if your kubernetes is having a major kind of uh, uh, rollbacks or if you have various kinds of scenarios like um, the deployments are not going proper how will you implement the the proper deployment strategy in the Kubernetes. So these are the primary set of questions which I got and I am glad that at least like uh, 60 to 80 percent of the answers I was able to give in. In the system design in this uh, particular round of SRE uh, interview, a uh, little bit I was also uh, fear, uh, having the fear like are are you going to sell it or not? Uh, so, but still uh, I made it through and uh, the second round uh, output was also positive. Now the next round was uh, with uh, again the USA person itself. So the, uh, the, the third round I would say like uh, the HR uh, the technical the coding and all those things if you see uh, mostly this round was on the kubernetes so can you design the istio setup for the kubernetes cluster aws event bridge creation and setup via terraform uh, what will be the command to add the annotation <coughs> and the labels for the existing pod design the kubernetes cluster with ingress so you can see at every point of time of the interview people are assessing you at different skills. The first one was coding, second was system design SRE, the third one is Kubernetes and tool setup. So you can understand the level of maturity that the people or the hiring manager or the team that you are uh, going to uh, get placed in are looking at the best DevOps and SRE engineer. So in order to be a best DevOps and SRE engineer, you need to check out my batch 10 uh, and the project classes are starting from this weekend, Saturday. Uh, and I will be dedicatedly teaching you for next two to three months where 50 plus real time projects, 400 plus interview questions, mock interviews, resume reviews, one to one mentorships and lot more things. Check out the website. If you feel you are confident enough to get a job in next two to three months, definitely I would suggest you to enroll and you can check out my YouTube channel for other things also. So you can see here some scenario based questions also were given. A certain surge in traffic causes a web application to become unresponsive. Uh, what are the steps you will be taking to mitigate? Uh, design the deployment of the pod with replica set as three and having Apache HTTPD as a running container. So mostly uh, Apache containers, uh, pods, deployment. So you need to write a manifest file, a Kubernetes manifest file with replica set. So basically you have to uh, create either a pod of kind or deployment of kind. And he will be asking why you have selected this, why you have selected this, why you have not gone with the other set of categories. If you have, if you have designed for pod, he will be asking why you have done with only pod. If you have created with deployment, why they will be asking like why only deployment right so those kind of things you need to know how do you reduce the size of the docker file again in scenario based question he has given me a docker file so he asked me to uh, put it in the Linux environment. So they have shared a uh, Linux environment uh, uh, to me and where I have to uh, make sure that that uh, Docker file size is getting reduced. I have implemented up to like 60 to 70%. So see, I am not the best. I am clearly telling you I am not the best guys, but at least giving the try, whatever you know, putting onto the paper, putting onto the screen will make sure that you are getting selected in your dream company. Okay, so let's get started. So hopefully this entire journey almost took like three weeks. So uh, every time the interview was happening, the feedback was getting uh, like two to three days and then uh, uh, the proper slots were taken. So uh, in these product based companies, always there will be a chance of uh, getting the delay of the interview. But don't worry uh, if you have confidence, if you have done well, definitely you will receive the positive response. So round four was managerial round. Again, the manager was very cool. I still remember his face at the time of the interview. He was so, so cool and um, I'm very fortunate to that manager that he has selected me into his team and um, one important thing uh, to let you all know uh, he was very kind he was very good uh, always very down to earth humble uh, and he has the uh, kind of um, um, uh, what you call it, like softness uh, never ask about the work so always like whatever you have done uh, put it on the Jira, uh, uh, show me and all those things. So never uh, he was uh, tracking anything. But at the time of like, let's say like uh, work, you should be very good uh, under him. So that's what he was expecting. And yes, I hope that uh, some of the things uh, uh, were there and uh, definitely it will be there. So. Uh, 
so yes whatever his expectations were there he has told me all the expectations and uh, i was expecting that basically all the questions will be managerial round questions but he started with some of the technical things like what were my projects how the uh, how i got the awards what are the achievements i have got what certifications i have done what were my major contributions apart from my work because it was a senior position so i have to make sure that i am good at leadership skills i am good at technical skills also i am good at communication skills along with that he has also given me some scenario based questions on the leadership skills and as i always tell i always follow like amazon 14 leadership principles i make sure i tell them in the star format and i prepare always like my notes so if you also need my my notes you can uh, check out the batch 10 link because i'll be sharing all my uh, notes with you all so in this managerial round most of the questions were uh, let's say like 60 to 70 were technical and 30% uh, were managerial questions i would request everyone to go over the managerial round questions of um, amazon like star format situation task action and reaction you should be telling in this format itself and i hope you have liked this video and make sure that you subscribe to the channel share the channel link with your friends if you found the video useful comment down in the comment section and do let me know if you want my goodies to be unboxed in front of you all and also if you need any help do let me know in the comment section again i uh, wish you all a happy new year and make sure that you are achieving more things in the coming days and set your targets work hard and definitely sabko achhi job milegi jaldi theek hai chalo with that side this is singham signing off from this video take care bye